again, I'm looking at this problem. It looks, I mean, if you didn't think about it, you'd say this is not possible. Yeah, if they're saying factor, it's possible. And what I would do is, you know, decide which quadratic you're going to go for. I'm saying x squared because first thing I say, so I'm going to say quadratic in x squared. So what do I see? 3x squared. The next thing I'm looking around for the x's in the problem, and I've seen two over there. What would that give me? Well, the coefficient, you know what? I see an error over here, too. i got to put it in. There's an x there. Sorry about that, but I'll correct it. And then you would get 7y uh, minus 10z, all right? And then what are you left off with? You left off with that quadratic, and I factored a minus 1 out from it, all right? So what would you do now? Well, I would factor it. And just as it's written, and let me write this down for you. So I'm seeing 3x squared plus 7y minus 10z x, and yes, I will correct that. I just noticed it myself, minus, I got to factor this guy over here. And what I mean by that, I really have to factor it, otherwise it's not going to happen. So 6y squared plus 8yz minus 8z squared. What am I going to pull out from that? Well, I'm going to pull out a 2 to make it easier for me. This would be 3y squared plus 4yz, whoops, minus 4z squared. Well, I'm going to try to factor it. That's going to be 3y and y. And I'm going to say 2z and 2z. And what do you get there? Let's get some signs going. Looks like, uh, let's see, 6. I'm going to say plus here, minus there. Let's just check it. You do get the 3y squared uh, plus 6, 6yz minus 2yz plus 4yz. Yep, looks good. So I'll write this down, 2. And then what do you get? 3y minus 2z and y plus 2z. All right, to factor this guy over here, I know it's going to be 3x and x. All right, I should, maybe I shouldn't say no. I'm hoping it's 3x and x. Otherwise, it's not going to be doable with my fingers. Uh, let's take a look at the next thing up. And I know I need, uh, you know, this over here. And, and that's, that's where, you know, some of the trouble lies. And how do you get that? And I'm going to, I'm kind of looking at it. And I'm going to say, um, I got to try. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a shot. 3y minus 2z. I'm not going to put any signs down yet. And over here, I'm going to put a 2 and a y plus 2z here. It's more diff This is definitely more challenging. There's no doubt about it. So I'm looking at it, and I'm going to say plus, minus, and see if that works. Now, i got to be honest with you. The, the first guy, the first term is going to work like a charm. You get 3x red no matter what you do about that. And you're going to get this guy, all right? You're going to get him. The question is, do you get the middle? And this is where the trouble comes. So I got to do it. So I got to do the 3 times this thing, which is 9y minus 6z. And then it's going to be uh, minus 2y uh, minus 4z. And what's that going to give you? 7y minus 10z. Is that what they said it's going to be? Yeah, this is working out for me. Let me get my eraser out. And yeah, it's worked. There's no doubt about it. Get this out out of the way. I think I'm done with this stuff. I think I'm done with that. I think I'm done with this. And you know what? I'm really done with this too. I don't need that again. All right. By the way, you know what? Let me repeat this. There's an X there. I got to correct that. But let me write down my answer now. It was going to be 3X minus 2Y minus 4Z. We'll check it with the key in a moment. This is going to be X plus 3Y minus 2Z. Let's get a red pen out. I'm hoping to see that. 3x minus 2y minus 4z. And I'm hoping to see this, x plus 3y minus 2z. OK, I'm also going to claim the quadratic formula. It's going to work nicely with the understanding the big A. Whoops, sorry about that. The big A is 3. The big B is going to be 7y minus 10z. And the C is going to be minus. 6, the quantity 6y squared plus 8yz minus 8z squared. Again, my, my issue over here is it's a lot of work to go through that. But if you do that, 
you're going to get these two roots all right, if you go through it. I did it, and I got those. All right, I got those two roots, by the way. So, and I actually did the work. All right? So if you're going to write the answer down for this one over here, what would it look like? It would look like x minus root number 1, which is 2y plus 4z over 3. And then it would be x minus the second root, which is 2z, and then plus 3y. All right, I got trouble, though. I don't have the leading coefficient of the 3, so you put it in, and then I'll make my association. What do you get? 3x minus 2y minus 4z, and x minus 2z plus 3y. Do I get the correct answer? Let's take a look. x minus 2y minus 4z, x minus 2z plus 3y. A little bit different order, but really the same thing, right? Both rows lead to the same answer. Thank you.